The year is 570 CE. Abdullah ibn Abdul Muttalib was preparing to return back to Mecca after he had went on a trip with a trade caravan. When he was going to return, Abdullah fell ill and so he was left with the group while his trade caravan returned to Mecca. When the caravan returned, the group went to Abdul Muttalib and told him of the disease his son had caught. Abdul Muttalib immediately sent someone to go and get Abdullah. But when they got to him, he had already died. Amina bint Wahab was pregnant at the time. A couple of months later, Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was born, 12th of Rabi' al Awwal to be exact. In Arabia at the time, newborns would be sent to the countryside to have a better time growing up. So, when the Prophet وسلم, was born, he too was sent to the countryside. When the tribe from the countryside had arrived, Muhammad وسلم, was only a couple of days old. Amina went to all the women to give them Muhammad وسلم, but they all declined. It didn't make sense to them. Raising a child was no father, but there was one woman, Halima radiallahu anha. Halima radiallahu anha had come to Mecca looking for a child who came from a rich family. Her and her husband were poor, so they needed money. And coming to Mecca to take a baby from a rich family was the easiest way to get money. But when most of the babies were given out, Halima radiallahu anha didn't have one. The only baby left was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When the tribe was about to leave, Halima radiallahu anha turned to her husband and said, I shall go to that orphan and take him. <laughs>